So here is a little meds for the morning, right? Even as I was stepping out, I decided to just, you know, let me record this. Um, because it's so true. You know, sometimes when you go on, um, you watch a video, maybe from another YouTuber, and you get some value from it, right? So you watch a video and get some value from it. And maybe it's a habit, you just don't like the video. It's not like intentional, but it's just something where you just, you just watch a video. I, you know, you maybe watch that channel for a couple of times, you know. You know yeah. You may watch that channel for a couple of times or even months and you never like the video. Maybe for some reason you choose not to subscribe or you just watch the video. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. And um, what I was thinking about it while I was reflecting on um, Jesus' words, you know. Of course, it's not the same thing. But the principle is the same, right? Luke 17, verse 17, Jesus asks, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Right? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Ah, yes. I see a word in there. Except this foreigner. Then he said, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. So, here the thing is. Except this foreigner. And I was thinking about it. Of course. You know, um, like in a video. And I'm not going to talk to us about the video. I want to learn spiritual principles that we can learn uh, from. But like in a video is like leaving a tip, right? Okay. And so I believe that if my videos add any kind of value to your life, if you don't like them, it's okay. You know, it, it makes sense that you would put a like. But if they had any value, yeah, man give a like and subscribe if you if you want more things had value but no the jesus said look um as any nobody has returned except this foreigner and um an next translation said except this the samaritan all right and i was thinking also that you know sometimes we take things for granted and the thing with human nature is that human nature is like the same all the time. Like back to 5,000 years ago, human nature is the same, is the same way, right? Now, even in America here, or Jamaica, like when I was in Jamaica, right? I mean, yes, I go to the beach, like I would go to church trip, I would go to the beach and we enjoy the, um, the surroundings, you know, somewhat, but we take it for granted because maybe we live in Jamaica. We don't appreciate the things that we have. Now I'm in Florida and everything is flat. I don't get to see the mountain and I'm an artist, right? I love mountains. But the point is that, of course, when you're not there or uh, so on, you, you, you get to appreciate it more. And isn't it the same way when Jesus came? The Bible says he came unto his own and his own received him not. They didn't appreciate him. Just made a further statement that a prophet is not honored, but in his own hometown is not honored, right? It's a principle, right? In America, here is the same thing. You know, people from foreigners uh, um, come to America and they will um, appreciate what America has to give. And those who grew up in America, born in America, um, will you hear it all the time? They don't appreciate so much the things that are um, available to them. And so, and I was thinking about it. It's the same thing that happened in Jesus' time, right? We don't appreciate what we have, right? And so the, 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 the Samaritan or the foreigner, um, Jesus made a statement that as no one returned, so we would assume what he's saying is that the other nine were Jews. The other nine did not turn back to give him thanks. But Jesus said, this foreigner, this Samaritan. And it is not only in this case that Jesus used the term, this foreigner, this Samaritan. Um, as you see the, the Gospels, you will see many stories where it is the outsider, the woman, at, the woman of Samaria, right? It is the outsider of the foreigner. We have the underdog and then we have the foreigner. So what is the word to this morning? The word is this morning is that, you know what? Look around you. Maybe look in your family. 
right? Maybe look in your country. Maybe look in your hometown. Look at the things that you can appreciate and give God thanks for. And we do not take it for granted. So I'm not just talking about like, right? I'm just, I'm, it's a principle. And so before I rush out to work, I, um, this is my encouragement to you and this is Liberate 2. Thank you for watching and subscribe.